lineup tonight. The battle rages on in the Anna Nicole Smith saga. Why some have been turned away from embalming the blonde bombshell's body and what her close friends and family suspect really happened the day she died. Plus, a ghastly crime caught on tape and still no answer to who strapped a bomb to this pizza delivery man blowing his body to pieces before a horrified crowd. Now, cops say they're closing in on who's behind this gruesome killing. And later, Wayne Chapman back in hot water. The notorious bounty hunter seemed to have slipped his leash when Mexican authorities failed to extradite him. But now they say they're close to bringing the dog back to Mexico to face the music. Those stories and more in the lineup right now. Wayne, the dog Chapman is back in hot water. A federal court has cleared the way for the dog to be extradited to Mexico, where he will face charges for illegally arresting Max Factor, Max Factor makeup heir Andrew Lester to bring him back to the United States. States to face justice. Let's take a look back at the bounty hunt that went south. Dwayne Chapman, better known as Dog the Bounty Hunter. This is fun, takes it now. The A&E reality TV star who kicks butt and takes names while tracking down criminals on the run. He gained national attention when he captured Andrew Luster in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, who flew the coop during his January 2003 trial, where he was convicted of 86 counts of rape and sentenced in absentia to 124 years in prison. An heir to the Max Factor cosmetic fortune, he spent most of his life living off of a $3 million trust fund, but giving three women GHB, raping them while unconscious, all the while videotaping his activities activities set him on a collision course with the dog. In June of 2003, Dwayne, Leland, Tim Chapman, and two TV crewmen descended upon Lester, who was living by the name of David Pereira. Though originally captured by the bounty hunter, Lester was then taken into custody by Mexican authorities, who sent him to the U.S., where he's now sitting in prison, and Mexican authorities charged the dog with kidnapping. Dwayne Chapman is free on $300,000 bail and is still bounty hunting from his home base in Hawaii. All right, and joining us now from L.A. is the dog's attorney, William Baller. Thank you so much for being with me tonight. So, Bill, have you had any contact with the Mexican authorities about your client? What's the status of the case? Yes, there's some confusion right now. Nobody's going anywhere yet. Uh, there's no extradition taking place in the immediate future. What's happened is that we expect next week to receive official notification that the district judge of the second district, the federal court in Guadalajara, is going to reject our amparo, which is our request for an injunction. If that happens, as we expect it might, we will take an immediate appeal with the circuit court and federal court in Guadalajara, and everything will stay frozen as it is pending that appeal. Potentially, what is he looking at in terms of, uh, you know, punishment in Mexico? Well, the objective of what the government is trying to do in Mexico is to extradite Dwayne Chapman to Puerto Vallarta to stand trial for charges stemming back three years ago, a relatively minor penal code violation called deprivation of liberty or similar to our false imprisonment. It carries with it a potential sentence of four years, but under the circumstances we think that uh, something much less and perhaps even a fine would be appropriate, but our objective is to make sure that that never happens, that he's not extradited, and that's why we're involved in the procedure right now in Mexico. I mean, it's just so shocking to people and shocking to myself. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of Dwayne the Dog Chapman. I think he performs many good public services, like bringing serial rapists to justice. This guy should be getting an award or a medal, and instead they want to put him in a Mexican jail potentially for four years. This just doesn't seem to be right. Why is this happening? You know, there are aspects to this which involve politics, the State Department of both countries. Our job is focusing on the legal issues. We think that once we get this in front of the appellate court in Guadalajara, if we have to, if we have our amparo rejected this next week, that we will have a fair and full hearing on the merits of this, and we hope for the outcome that should take place, and that is that he would be exonerated and never have to be extradited to Mexico. All right, well, I'm, I'm getting my T-shirts printed up. Freedom for the dog, that's what I'm doing. All right, William Ballard, you did your job, and I'll continue raising support for him here. Thank you. We're going to do our job. All right. Coming up.